Okay, so today is about computing power supply wattages, which is really kind of part of the. Uh, um, don't do this, and we'll, we'll continue on without doing this because we're kind of behind. Okay, so the point of understanding power in this chapter is to understand why and how we calculate what power supply we need for a specific PC. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how we calculate power supply wattages and what the things are that, that I'm looking for for you guys to understand for this chapter, okay? So, we already talked about what these different connectors are. We know that the uh, 20 or 24 pin, depending on the power supply, it's either a 20 or a 24. P1 plug is what voltage? I'm sorry, what? Yeah, what voltage? What? What? 3.3. 3.3? Okay, this one's 3.3 volts. Okay, the uh, P4 connector, which also goes to the motherboard, is how many volts? 12, right? Okay, all these SATA connectors and hard drive Molex connectors are what? What? Yeah, 12 volts. Okay, and then the floppy drive connector is the only one that's five, okay? But in general, the ones that we're talking about are the 3.3 and 12 volts. Now, the volts has nothing to do with the wattage, right? Because we know from our analogy that we did the other day that, that volts times amps equals watt, so you would have to know the amperage that flows through this to know what the total power consumption of that particular plug or that particular plug or that particular plug is. Okay, and you'd have to know the specifications of each individual hardware in order to know that. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how we figure those things out. Okay, and I, in general, have a table for you guys to use. Okay, and, and the table makes it easy. I have to know the components on my... This is odd size. Just drag that up too. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can scroll down. Shrink that up a little bit. There's lots of that. What? Didn't I just unlock that? Oh, is it not letting me do the whole table? Let's see. Maybe it's not going to let me. Once we do that, well, I'm just going to have to scroll down a little bit. So I've got this chart for you, and I've got another chart that, that I'm going to, actually I've already printed out sitting on the curve. So the way we go through and figure out wattage is kind of like doing a grocery list, okay? You have to know what you have or what you want, and just add them together. It's that simple, okay? So if we look at a specific PC, how many PCs have motherboards? Ever, every one, right? Okay, but there's no, there's only one set of wattage, okay? So if I'm looking at a specific PC, I know I'm going to add 50 into my total watt calculation based on the fact that it has a motherboard. And the reason it, I only have one number for motherboards because it's pretty generic. Now there's an online calculator we can use that you specifically put in what motherboard and it figures out, but this is close enough for our purposes, okay? Now CPUs are different depending on how many cores they are. And this is also rounded generic numbers. So it's not going to be exact. If you go through the online calculator and use this, you're not going to get the exact same number. But this is close enough for you to make sure you're getting the right one. Okay. So I'm going to use this one as an example. It's got a quad core CPU. Okay. So you go and say, okay, I'm going to use the quad core number. So I'm going to add another 100. So I can say, I didn't use this one. I didn't use this one. I didn't use this one. Okay. And the next thing on, the, on this particular chart is what kind of video card it uses, okay? So in this particular chart, it says a basic or integrated video card. In other words, one that's on the motherboard. So the motherboard's going to use a little bit more power if it's the one producing the video, or is it got, a, got an add-on gamer? And then the other chart on there, I think, even has more choices than what I'm going to hand you out to do as a worksheet today. Nope, I didn't do that yesterday. I forgot my vaccination. 
Smithy never came back inside. Uh, no, this one has the exact same one. But I have some other charts that I made that even break it out more. Because in reality, some of the newer uh, video cards today take even more than that. See, look, this one has an integrated video card, so I'd add 30, and I'd say, okay, I'm going to use this basic or integrated video card. This is a basic video card. Okay? There's no extra power connections on it. There's no cooling fan on it. It's just a really, really basic video card that we have in the teacher PCs. And I don't know if it's still over here or not. I had a really ginormous gamer card that I may have moved. I wish I still had it over there. Vid gamer video cards have two, sometimes three cooling fans. They have extra power inputs, two, sometimes one, sometimes two, so you'll know the difference, okay? So if it's a gamer one, and some gamer cards, when you look at the card, it says require 250 watts. It'll tell you what the wattage is if it's a huge wattage hog, okay? So then what kind of memory is in our computer? In this one, I've got four sticks of RAM in there, okay? It doesn't say how big it is, because it doesn't really matter. It says how much memory, this is how much I'm doing per stick. So I'm going to say 15 times 4 equals... 60, there we go, okay, so 60, and then does it have an optical drive? This is how much it could pull per optical drive. That one's got one, you could have two optical drives on there, that's CDs or DVDs or, or Blu-rays, so I've got one, so I'm going to add another 30 on there. How many hard drives does your computer have? This one has two, okay, because every single hard drive we plug in, has to be plugged into power so it uses additional bits. So I'm going to say, oops, wrong one, times two. So I'm going to add 50 in there. And then it says other things that we've had. Does it have a floppy drive? Nope. Does it have any other expansion cards? Now when you look at that one, I mean, is there any other cards plugged into it? And the only way to know that is to actually look at the back. So when I give you a PC online to look at, you have to actually look at the pictures or read the reading. And this one's got no extra cards in the back. Okay? So no other expansion cards. USB per device used, not per plug. Okay? So my computer over there has 12 USB ports on it. I don't do this based on 12. I could. If Lane was going to go buy a computer and he knew he was probably going to use them all because he was going to have all kinds of stuff plugged in, he might want to put a higher number on there. That's not what we're doing for this exercise. So per device. So it's got a mouse and a keyboard. That's it. Oh, we'll include the scanner because we're using the scanner on there. So we're going to say times three, so nine, okay? And then extra cooling fans. This is not including this fan. This is the only one that's not included that's already part of our power because every single motherboard, and that's actually where a lot of the motherboard wattage comes from, every single motherboard already has a cooling fan. Now, if you were going to build a Mondo one like we did last class with the double fan on it, you might want to. You don't have to do that. It's not part of this exercise. But I'm just saying, if you were doing one at home and you were building in one with a water cooling system with a, with a water pump on it, you might go, oh, I might want to add something more for that. This is extra cooling fans that are in the case. So if there's an extra fan other than that one, either mounted on the front or mounted on the back, this one's got no, no extra fans in it. Okay. The one we built yesterday, that server had one, had a big, huge one on the front. Okay. There's no other cooling fans on there other than that one. So I might have added one, but that's not the case with this one. So I've got my number. So I'm going to go through, and because I'm not going to make any mistakes. When I do this, I'm going to go ahead and do it right here. So I'm going to say 50 plus 100 plus 30 plus 60 plus 30 plus 50 plus 9 equals 329. That is not the answer to any question I will probably ask you. That's the first part of an answer. Okay. So when I ask you guys to do power supplies, there's three numbers you're going to have open, okay? I calculated, in this case, equals 329, okay? The minimum, the recommended. 
Okay? Those are the three numbers I could ask you. I rarely ask you the calculated one because I don't really care about that exact number. What I do care about is the minimum and the recommended. So how do I get them? If I take the calcula calculated one, I round up to the nearest 50. So this would be 350. Okay. So in other words, power supplies don't come in single denominations. You can't buy a 329 power supply. Okay. Most of them come. Sorry, just in case this is my wife and it's important. Otherwise, I will ignore it. Mr. Pool. Yes. Yeah, I told your wife at nine. Okay, I'll be. I'm, I'm free from nine to ten twenty. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay. Okay, so since they don't come in individual numbers, most of them come in increments of 50. You will see other increments. We're going to look at, at buying power supplies here today, and I'll show you that they don't necessarily just come in increments of 50, but they used to only come as 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, but there's some other numbers. Okay, so in general, the minimum power supply you could find for this PC would be a 350 watt power supply. Anything less than that is not going to run this computer right. Things are going to drop offline, or it's not going to start at all, or it's going to burn up the power supply. Okay. And recommended equals minimum plus 50, which in this case is 400. Okay. So when I ask you a question on your chapter three test, I'm going to say, what is the recommended wattage for this PC? And I'm going to give you a link to a PC. And we're going to practice that today. We're going to look at some, some different PCs today. And you're going to do some wattage su supply calculations. Okay? So you're going to come up with calculated, which is directly off the chart, just by going through and checking those things out. You have to read about the PC. People make mistakes in that chart all the time. When they go there, they don't notice maybe how many hard drives there are or how many sticks of memory there are, okay? Those are the two gotchas, kind of, normally. Most of the time they go, yeah, it's a dual core, it's got a motherboard, but those are the two gotchas they get to. But you're going to come up with a calculated, then you're going to come up with a minimum, and then you're going to come up with a recommended, okay? Now, if your calculated is, in this case, 329, and I said this the other day, and you put a 700 watt power supply in there. It doesn't mean you're going to use 700 watts. You're still going to use this amount. And the farther away these two are to a point, okay, the more efficiently your power supply runs. The cooler it runs, the less the, the fan has to run to cool the system, the cooler the system will run in general, and the more efficient it will use less power out of the wall if these are farther apart. Okay, So just because you find out that the recommended is 400 doesn't mean I couldn't buy a 700. If I was going shopping and I gave you a link and I said, hey, calculate the, uh, the recommended wattage for this PC, and then I gave you a follow-on question, would this be a good choice? Okay. So our, our recommended was, in this case, with 400. And I give you a link to one that's 700, and I said, would this be a good choice? Would the answer be yes or no? The answer is yes. Just because these aren't equal doesn't mean it's a bad choice. Okay? It has to be at or above this to be a good choice. Okay? Now, we add 50 for a couple reasons. Number one, we add 50 for efficiency, but that's not the biggest reason we add the 50. Okay? Between the minimum. And you're going to see PCs that we go to that, that the wattage is the minimum. That's what they've got in that, in that computer. The reason we recommend higher besides efficiency is because Lane may go out and buy a solid state drive and add it to his computer. And now he's got two hard drives. And that just added 25 just for that one item. Okay? Lane may go out and take and upgrade his memory and add two more sticks of memory in there. That just added 30. And right there, if I did those two things, I just went eh, and went above my, my recommended right there. Okay, so 50 
adding 50 is not a huge buffer. If you're building a PC today and you don't have a lot of money and you're saying, I'm going to upgrade it later, then this is not the place to skip today. Because if you skip on it today, you have to buy a new one tomorrow. However, if you're buying what you think is your perfect PC and you're building one that has a gamer video card, that has the right amount of memory, <clears throat> and you don't think you're going to have to add, then you're probably not going to go past this when you do. If you add a hard drive, you have a new CD ROM, you're not going to go past it. And if you replace it, if you put in a new CD ROM, that doesn't add anything, right? You're just swapping out what numbers you like. Okay, so we're going to go through some, some uh, PCs, and I'm going to walk you through some. And then you guys are going to do some on the, on the uh, worksheets I have, working out how, going through the worksheet and doing the calculated, then figuring out your mend it, min, minimum, and then getting your calculator. I don't know if there's anything else on here because everything else is online on the middle side. So I'm going to go to Moodle and I'm going to do the first one with you, and then um, I'm going to give you the worksheet, and you guys are going to do the other ones, and we're going to look at them and make sure we get the same number. So we want to do these independently and then compare them to see, see how we did on these. So if I go to Moodle and I go to our class, there are um, some power supply wattage things right here, okay? So we're going to skip link number one, and that's the extreme power supply calculator, which is a, a more exact thing. We're going to look at that in a minute. After we fill out the uh, worksheet, we're going to actually go and see how it compares, okay? This number is exact. It's as exact as you're going to get, okay? Uh, whereas these ones that we are about to do are estimates based on normal stuff, okay? So there's a list of PCs to do wattages for. All these are no longer available. You can't buy them or anything. It's just for, for hoots and hollers, okay? So we're going to go through the chart, and I'm going to go back to our chart, and we're going to keep going back and forth here as we do this. Okay, so before we even get started, we know that we've got a motherboard. So we've got our 50 here, and I'm just going to put a star or a number next to it as we go through it here. So the first thing we're looking at on the CP, CP or PC is the uh, CPU and what kind of CPU it has. Sometimes the answers are right up here in the top, and sometimes I have to go into the verge. Okay. So in the case of this one, do I know what kind of CPU I have on this PC without even going down down into the edit? Which? Okay. Right. I got a Pentium dual core. Okay. So I already know I've got a dual core. So I'm going to go down here and say I'm going to use the 75 there. So the next thing on my list is the video card. I really should have memory above video card, but so we're going to be, be looking at the video card. What kind of video card does it have? Now it doesn't say up here, it rarely ever does say up here unless you're looking at a gamer one. If we're looking at a gamer, then it probably points out that it's, they put in a really good video card. But unless it's a gamer, we usually have to go down below. Them, okay? I've got to guess it's integrated because it's a business PC, and you can see it's a mobile because it's Windows XP, but I'm going to go down here and look, and I'm going to go to the specifications, okay? So I go down here, and I'm going to look for video, okay? And I see nothing specifying anything on the video there. I'm going to go down here, VGA port, it just specifies that it's got a video port, And right here, here's our graphics. Okay, so our graphics are integrated graphics. In other words, it's on the motherboard. Okay, so we've got integrated graphics. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to say that's a 30, which honestly for integrated, I've got two pens now and I keep grabbing a different one. So honestly, that's an overestimate for integrated car. But I grouped together basic or integrated. Um, so just so you know, that's probably adding more than you need. The next question was um, memory. So I'm going to go up here and see if we can say how much memory do we have. Processor, hard drive, optical drive, audio, graphics. I didn't even see a specific on memory. Let's see what it says up here. It says it's got 2 gig of DDR2. So let's see. Where are you looking at? 
Well, that's a hard drive. No, that's all hard drive capacity on there. Really, it has nothing on this one. It doesn't even say how many slots it has, unless I'm missing it someplace. I did not see it anywhere. Let's see if it's in the old view. I doubt it. Nope. Okay, so we're going to assume one stick on this one. Okay, and why are we going to assume one stick? Because memory does come in ones and twos and fours. Okay, uh, so they could have put two one gig sticks in there. They could have. It could be a two stick system. Or they could have put one, one two in there. It, I'm going to assume anymore no one puts smaller than a two gig stick in. It's hard to find a one gig stick, just so you know. So if you see a number two or above, that if it said four, I would think it had two sticks. Two sticks of two. But since it only has two, we're going to go with one on this one. Okay, so memory per stick, we're going to say one. Optical drive and hard drive, we did see that, okay, so in fact, you can look at the picture if you want to. We see that there's one optical drive on there, in fact, while we're looking at pictures, let's see if there's any rear, rear photos that we can look at, in fact, no, there's no fans on the side, that's just a hole, there's no fan on that side either, and we don't even get a rear photo of this one at all. Nope, no rear photo. Okay, so optical drive, we know we have one. The, what I want to do while we're here is hard drives. It says hard drives included one. So it's got one hard drive as well. So we're going to say one and one. Floppy drive, no floppy drive. We're going to say no other expansion cards because it doesn't have anything listed. And we're going to assume any more, unless you've got ones that we're going to use, extra ones, we're going to assume that this is always a two. Okay, that we're going to get a, a, a keyboard and a mouse plugged into this. We had no extra cooling fans. Okay, so as I go through here, I'm going to add 50, 75, 30, 15, 30, 25, and 6. So I got 50 plus 75 plus 30 plus 15 plus 30 plus 25 plus 6. So my calculated was 231. My minimum equals 250. And my recommended equals 300. Okay? And then we're going to go back and do the kind of the follow-on question. Does this meet my recommended? Okay? I would really not want to buy a PC that doesn't meet that. And many times it doesn't even have it, but it does, like power, 300 watts. So we got this one just happens to have the recommended power that we would want for this PC. Yay. Okay. Now, I'll tell you, there's a lot of times you don't see that. And when you don't see it, usually are ones that you go and configure yourself. For instance, if Lane went to the Dell site and picked a PC, as you do a PC on the Dell site, you say, ah, I want this CPU. I want this amount of memory, I want this video card, and you can go in and select individual items, okay? But one of the things you usually can't select is the power supply. Because they've already said, this is the case, that's the power supply that goes with it, you tell us what you want inside, and that's what we're gonna ship you. And in general, the places that I have personally replaced power supplies the most are in systems like that, HPs and Dells. They upgraded the internal components, but they didn't get the power supply upgraded, and it wasn't enough to power the PC and burn it up. And it lasted a year or two years. Power supplies have some of the lowest warranties, by the way. Hard drive, you can get it. The hard drive I just put in that one the other day had a 10-year warranty on it, but power supply has only got sometimes as low as a 90-day warranty. Okay, so some of them are really low. So that's the process of figuring them out. What I'd like you guys to do, and I'm going to give you a worksheet here, I'd like you to go through and do the other four of these PCs, okay? Now, what would you expect from this one before I even click on it? 
Okay, it says it's a game, so you're probably going to have have a better video card. Okay, so those are the kind of things you need to look for. Some of them don't give as good an explanation. All these should have the rest of the information for you. And if there's ones that you're like, it doesn't show this, tell me, and we'll go through it. Did I, did I bring the workshop? Oh, there we go. Okay. So we're going to do this first, and then we're going to go through them again. And um, so you're going to have to get out your laptop in order to look at the look at the PC and cruise through the PC. But after we've looked at them, then we're going to um, be able to look at them with the power supply wattage calculator as well to do that as well. Just so you guys know, uh, the plan is that you're going to take the Chapter 3 test on Wednesday. And I'm going to also give you the opportunity to do an additional assignment for Monday. It is not part of this quarter unless you want it to be. In other words, uh, you have to have it done by Monday morning if you want me to grade it that day and, and put it on, on first quarter. Okay? But I can put it on either one of the quarters, but obviously if, you, if you're trying to get your grade up a little bit, you, an, an additional grade in there would certainly help, help you out. And I'm going to pause or am I going to stop?